I'm using a block weave for this rug. Um, I do tend to switch between traditional Scandinavian techniques um, such as crow rod for my chair upholsteries. But I've gone back to block weave and I've, because this is the first rug collection that I've made in a long time, I've really stripped it back and, and gone back to basics. It's, it's a good way to start because I can really focus on the colours um, without having a complex design and then as um, the collection develops and as I move on with further collections I'll bring in more complicated bolt weaves. The, the technique, the pattern that you see being woven, that's predetermined when I put the warp on the loom and so all the th threading through the heddles gives you the basic blocks um, and then because you don't see any of the warps, it's, it's all weft face, that's the name of the technique. It means I can design then on the loom, which is perfect for me. I'm, there's so much about running your own business where you're very disciplined that the creative process, I like to keep that as free. I'm using rug walls, which are 80% wool and 20% nylon, um, which is important because as well as this being floor art that is, you know, a piece of craft, to decorate your home. I, it's really important to me that my work is functional, so they're going to be really durable and the linen warp makes them very strong as well. The colour came from my life experiences really. Um, I've always always gone for bold colours in my designs without initially knowing why, um, but I was fortunate enough to live in India in 2006 and that definitely gave me the courage and the confidence to use colour more boldly. And if I think right back to the start when I first got into weaving and textiles, I was, I was quite a fan of Kay Fasset, I still am obviously. Um, and he is a great one for, I mean, he had, there's a quote of his where, if you're unsure about your colour, throw in a 20 more. And I've taken that quite literally. 